We'll guide you through how to fix a flickering monitor screen. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, you want to go on to the back of the monitor to where the cables plug in. On this monitor here, the cables actually plug up, but I know on some they sort of plug into the back. And what you need to do is make sure they're properly plugged in. That's the main cause of flickering is that the cables are not properly plugged in and also go and check the output device. In this case, it's my computer and go and do the same thing. Make sure they're properly plugged in. If they are, but you're still having problems, then the next thing I recommend you do is try switching the cables around to different ports because there may be some sort of problem with the port. So if possible, go and switch them around on both the monitor and the output device. So in this case, it would be my PC. If you've done that and it still isn't working, the next thing you can try is try using different cables if possible because it may be a problem with the cable. Also, if you're using adapters, because I am, I actually found it was a problem with the adapter. So I have a display port to VGA because I have quite an old monitor and I found that had actually gone and malfunctioned. So my monitor was flickering um, and I tried, you know, changing the cables and the ports, but it still wasn't working. But I went and replaced the adapter and that fixed the problem. So if possible, try using a device where you don't need to use the adapter. And so you can just go and plug it in with a different device and go and see if the flickering is happening. If it is not flickering without the adapter, then it's a sign that it's a problem with the adapter, which you can then go and replace. Now for this next step, you can actually try doing it before going and buying new cables and adapters as it may go and solve your problem. And what you want to do is make sure you've got the most up-to-date drivers for your graphics card if you're using a PC because the wrong drivers may cause the problem. So all you need to do is go and find what graphics card you've got in your computer and then go and search for the drivers. For example here, I've got an Nvidia graphics card. So I went and searched for Nvidia graphics card drivers and then I came to the official site. I then entered in the information here, click on search and it'll find the best drivers for you. You can then go and download them, won't take long, and after they go and download, you can then go and install them. It's that simple. And hopefully that will then go and fix your problem. If it doesn't, you can go over the steps we did before with changing your different cables and maybe trying different adapters and things like that. I hope you found this useful. 